This is Akashvani, the news read by Priya Badu. In Paris Olympics, Manu Bhakar and Sarab Jodh Singh today lynched the bronze in the mixed 10 meter air pistol shooting event by defeating South Korean pair of Oye Jin and E. Won Ho 6 16 10. With this win, Manu edged her name in the history of Indian sports by becoming the first Indian athlete to win two medals at the same edition of the Olympics. Earlier, Manu won a bronze in the women's 10-meter air pistol event. Overall, Manu is the third Indian to win more than one individual medal in the Olympics. Sarab Jodh, on the other hand, got his first Olympic medal. Shuttler P.V. Sindhu and wrestler Sushil Kumar are the only two Indians to have won multiple Olympic events, to have won multiple Olympic medals, but in separate Olympic Games. President Draupadi Murmu has congratulated Manu Bhakar and Sarab Jodh Singh for winning bronze medal for India in the mixed team 10-meter air pistol event for shooting. In a social media post, the president said Manu Bhakar has created history by becoming the first woman shooter from India to win two medals in the same Olympic Games. President Murmu wished both Manu Bhakar and Sarab Jodh Singh many more, ro- many more laurels in the future. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also congratulated Manu Bhakar and Sarab Jodh Singh for winning the bronze medal in the 10-meter air pistol mixed team event at the Paris Olympic. Trap shooter Prithviraj Tondaiman will be competing in the second day of the men's trap qualification round. Women shooters Shreya C. Singh, the 2018 Commonwealth Games gold medalist, and Rajeshwari Singh will begin their two-day qualifying rounds at the same time. The Indian hockey team will face Ireland. In rowing, Balraj Panwar will strive to advance to the semifinals in the men's single skull quarterfinal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the country's GDP is growing at 8% and the day is not far when it will become third largest economy globally. Addressing the inaugural session of the journey towards Vikshit Bharat, a post-union budget 2024-25 conference in New Delhi today, Mr. Modi said India will reach new highs even after battling pandemic. He said government is focusing on all sectors. The Prime Minister said the speed and scale at which the government is building infrastructure is unprecedented. He said capital expenditure is called the biggest productive medium of resource investment. Union Agriculture Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan has said that under the Agriculture Infrastructure Fund, 72,000 infrastructure projects worth over 76,000 crore rupees have been built across the country The scheme was launched in 2020 with the objective of developing post-harvest management infrastructure to reduce losses, realize better value for farmers, foster innovation in agriculture, and attract investments for agriculture infrastructure. He said under the scheme, 1 lakh crore rupees was provided to all the eligible borrowers by banks and financial institutions. In Kerala, at least 48 people have been killed in a major landslide in the hilly Wayana district this morning following heavy rains at Mundakai, Atamala and Churamala regions. The death toll is likely to go up. More than 120 injured persons have been admitted to various hospitals. Official sources said over 100 persons are reportedly missing. Reports say 10 people were washed away in the flash flood. Their bodies were found in Chariyar, in Chaliya River at Portukukal in Malapuram district further downstream. Defense sources in Kochi squad said a team of 30 specialist swimmers from the Indian Navy are being deployed in the region. Two helicopters from Air Force Station Sulur in Coimbatore will be reaching Wayanad soon. President Draupadi Murmu and Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar have expressed condolences over the loss of lives in the Landslide in Wayanad, the president prayed for the speedy recovery of the injured and for the success of rescue operations. The vice president also conveyed his wishes for the speedy recovery of those injured. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced an ex gracia of 2 lakh rupees from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund for the next of kin of those killed in landslides of Wayanad. The injured will be given 50,000 rupees. The Prime Minister also spoke to Kerala Chief Minister Pinarai Vijayan and assured all possible assistance from the center. That is all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.